Oh yeah, farming and harvesting. So in order to do this, actually I grabbed a few assets. I, I, I use Sinti's farm because it has just an easy way to do things. I was gonna do this in 3D. So I'll put a terrain down and I'll, and I'll probably color it just to make it look pretty. Give it a texture, I don't know, create a layer. Guess it doesn't really matter. Let's get something a little more stylized. Okay. So the first thing we're going to need to do if we want to do any kind of farming is I'm going to do a way to select stuff. Um, so I'm going to take the camera and we're going to move them over here. And we are going to make a moving system. So we are going to get screen width and that's screen width and actually I don't even think I need that. Get mouse Yeah, we don't need that because we're going to use normalized. <clears throat> so, all right. So if we'll compare, if we are at 0.9, five. Well, if x, okay, I'm going to get rid of this guy. We don't need him. So if x is at 0.95. Move right. And over here, copy those, paste them here. And if it's less, move back. Wait. And then over here, if we are less, if we are less than 0 0.05, we're going to move left. 0 0.05. And if we're greater, we will move back. Okay. And I'm going to do this as X, copy, paste, Z. And all we're going to do in this one, right? So this is, this is the copied version is I'm going to get rid of get get rid of mouse x and get mouse y. I'm going to st I'm just going to store it as x. Actually, you know what? I'm going to so we're not confusing everybody. Change it there. So now we get we're going to get the y. We're going to we're literally doing that same thing, only now we're technically we're not moving left and right, we're moving up and down. But beyond that, it's exactly the same. So we have the horizontal and the vertical. So in this side, translate the owner space world per second every frame. I don't know, let's go five, copy, paste, negative five, and up here,
translate vector self world and five copy paste negative five so the first thing that'll do that's just going to give us some functionality on our camera so as you see i can now oh we gotta check something there left and right's working up and down's not let's see what's happening in the up and down Let's see, we had an infinite loop somehow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so obviously, we need to get rid of those. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Because uh, we're not getting a mouse X, we're getting mouse Y. And this, the speed felt a little slow anyway, so let's alter that. Double it. So now we have there. And there. Oh, yeah. So. Now we have kind of this movement system so we can move around and I might even alter that camera a bit more I can aim it a little farther down I almost need a reference to see how far we are so let's grab So, okay, so say we want to be oh, roughly that kind of height. All right, so there we go. It's, okay, of course, now the speed might be a little fast, but eh, it's doable. <coughs> so, So the other thing that we're going to need now that we can move around is we need a way to click on stuff um, so that we can bring up a menu. I'll use a pie menu because I was playing with those last night anyways. Let's save this as farming. So we, 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 we need a menu so that we can click on it and say, hey, we want to plant a, I don't know, corn field or wheat field or something along here or here in various different ways. So the other thing I want to do is on the terrain, we are going to put it on a layer as terrain. Probably take it too to be on the safe side. I don't know. Do I have a terrain layer? Okay, well, let's add one. Train. And that is our train. So we need a canvas. And we need... We need some sort of pie menu. So a pie menu... is I went and downloaded actually it's these I think th these are free too these ones here on the store if you look up 2d sprites I mean they're really not the best for this but it was the closest thing to a circle I could find that was free and I don't feel like making one in the GIMP workshop right now okay so here we have a pie menu I'm gonna make it bigger All right so ideally you want to set this as build right now we can control this 
Bloop, 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 bloop. So this is our sector, and it's going to need another <coughs> image in it. And I'm just going to default this to anything right now, it just doesn't matter. And it needs to be a lot smaller. And let's just shrink this down to a reasonable amount so we can place this guy. Say about there. Sounds good. Mind you, I guess if he's All right, well, for now, he'll work. Um, might have to add some logic and adjust his position. Could probably make him bigger, though, eh? Okay, so I don't want this guy to be recastable. Not that that's actually going to matter in this. That's a new one. So let's tag him as Icon. I want to change his name to Icon. And then I'm going to take this whole thing, that sector part, and I'm going to prefab it. And I'm going to de delete it. So I'm going to add an FSM on here, and this is going to be mani Manager. I can't spell today, apparently. Manager. There we go. So we need. We're going to use an empty and we can stuff those in there like that. Because if I put numerous of those in there and rotate him. Yes, that'll work just fine. Okay. So this is going to be, this empty game object is going to be, we'll say our wheel. And he is a very simple looking thing. He is an empty game object. Imagine that, eh? So our manager needs a reference to our sectors, a reference to our wheel. So get mouse button down. So we are, we have clicked the mouse button. We're gonna go over and we are going to mouse pick. And just take that up. Store point as pick position. Layer mask is going to be only on terrain. So we, now we've we have picked a position. It is on the terrain. We wish to. And this part here will actually change down the road a bit. So we want to um, world to screen. Okay, so we need a camera. Camera object, which is going to be him for now. Well, him, I guess, at all. So camera, so we need the world position is our pick position. We now have an X and we now have a Y. And we can now set position 2D and set vector 
2xy, so we need to convert that. Go away, stupid little ads. So is going to be menu position. And it's x, y, set position of the wheel to menu position space world and activate. Make sure he's at the bottom, doing everything in order. Wheel, activate him. Okay, let's finish that. So we are waiting on input. Get position. And then we are setting menu base. So once we have set the menu base, we've now activated everything and we still got to deal with the slices, um, which will come down. But for now, I'm just going to go over here and do a get mouse X and mouse Y. So now we have a mouse x not normalized mouse y not normalized set vector there new one is going to be current mouse position every frame mouse x mouse y oh yeah <coughs> so we're waiting for an input. We get the input. We're going to get this pick position. We activate our wheel. Now what we're going to do is going to do a vector to operator. Which is current menu position yes okay yeah so we're going to take menu position to current mouse position every frame distance storing as mouse distance full compare if mouse distance is greater than uh, we'll have to change that, but we gotta see that. Then we are ending everything and return. And on the return, we need to. get rid of our mouse wheel. We need to deactivate it and go back for waiting here. So now, okay, there's, there's nothing in the mouse wheel yet. But, <coughs> actually I'm gonna go out of maximize play so we can see this a little better. But if I click, of course it's gonna be hard to see. So the wheel, okay, yeah, well, let's, let's add something so you can see this um, let's just add a image something anything right so he's should be starting as deactivated right so if we click somewhere he pops up and if I move and we're set at 200 for distance and he'll deactivate which is there, which might be a little far. Maybe not. You might might like that. Um, now if I maximize, it'll 
Uh, 200 actually might be okay. Okay. So let's get rid of him. So we can now click and get our position for the wheel. We need to know what we want that wheel to actually contain, I guess you could say. So for example, let's go into here and say if we click and we're hitting the terrain so we get that position let's add uh, a little bit to this and let's add um, no, background I guess we'll call it the background layer and we're going to store this so now if we clicked on object if we are terrain if true we will continue if false actually I'm not gonna do that normally I mean if you if you're only gonna compare the one you would say okay and let's just use true or false um, because I know we're gonna add more into this I'm not going to do that um, if we are on well, pretty much anything else right now, then it's going to be a false. So I'm going to add next frame so we can cover every other tag. So if we get a finished, we're just going to go back over here. And you, you could just go back here, but I want to make sure this is down. So if it's true, we continue and we're going to go over here. So now, um, where's our camera? So this is this is kind of what happens now. Is if I create a cube, and I don't know, he's five by five by one, and his tag, or we'll put him on the background first. His tag could be could be anything, right? Could be keypad. Uh, where is our cube in our camera view? All right, so now, there we go. So now, as you can see now, if I click, oh, well, let's check. Well, if I click, where are we? Oh yeah, I don't have an image there, so we can't see. Okay, let's fix that up so we can see this. So you guys can see what's what's happening here. All right, so we have an image. This guy needs to start deactivated. So if I click, we have a menu, right? Like we'd be able to say we're going to be able to select um, whatever here uh, to build a farm. And over here, if I click, nothing happens. I click off to the side something happens again I click on here nothing happens right so now we're, we're being selective on where we want to build so maybe this is a building or this is a rock or a tree right and, and you can build on these layers all you want right so now we only have buildables or you could flop this whole thing and we can only build on this and not build over here right and if that's the case like you literally now we're just looking at if 
we are tag now we'll say I'll use any of these tags I guess key, I mean, keypad we used All right so he is t, uh, keypad All right so now I'm clicking and nothing's happening I click over here and now all of a sudden I can build or do whatever but I click over here and nothing happens so so there's there's kind of an option there um, right I just thought I'd show you that so I'm just gonna go back to terrain so we can build anywhere for now so and, and the reason why I'm, I'm gonna use multiple of these is we might want different different wheels based on where we're clicking right like perhaps over here you have I don't know a, a flower garden so you want a different set of options but over here you want you know fruits or something you a different set of options okay so actually I shouldn't have deleted him I can keep him so let's actually no let's delete him so we need a whatever we click on we need it to have a we need it to have uh, I, I guess kind of a list of what we're gonna build so for example we want to build on the train I'm gonna add an FSM right to the train and whoops let's call this I don't know option sure options why not so the wheel when we click on something and we get to this point we need to build this wheel right literally just we said it prior to actually prior to activating it we want to build it based on whatever we clicked on so whatever we clicked on we need to get FSM array so the clicked on object so actually first let's go over here and build the actual array actually let's think for a minute here because we want an array of We're going to want sh possible strings. We're going to want icons. We want, let's, yeah, let's, okay, it's going to be, let's just use icons for now. So he is going to have an array there's arrays called stuff. And he is going to be object type Unity Engine and Sprite. I didn't think that list was going to be that long. Sprite. Okay, and then I'm gonna stick it over here. So it's stuff. So over here, I can now, we are gonna grab from options stuff. This is gonna be what, whatever we clicked on. And we need our own array called clicked on stuff and again it is going to be object unity and this time I'm just going to do this so I'm not wasting time we have sprites 
So we're going to get that array. And we need to then get array length. So clicked on stuff is going to be now array length. So we have now so we are now uh, grabbing stuff from whatever we've clicked on and they're all they're all going to be images so the the number of images is going to be our array length for the number of images we also need to now do some math. So I'm just going to finish this one and we're going to go over here and build one called a bunch of math. So we need a float divide, which is float variable which is to set fill and divided by array length to set fill actually no let's not use float divide let's use float operator So one divided by array length equals two set fill. So the other thing we now need is another float operator, and that's going to be 360 divided by array length is going to be to set rotation and for now let's, let's just see how that looks and then we are going to iterate Actually, we don't need we don't need to use iterate. Let's just use array. Array get next. So we have an array called clicked on stuff. We're going to have an event called loop, and we're going to have a event called done. We're going to have our current array item, and oh, not a global current array index. So we loop and we have a done. Done should just be, I, th I think, going over there. So during this loop, now that we have some math happening, we want to create an object. We wish to create a sector and the parent is going to be the wheel and its position can be zero 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 and its rotation is going to be nothing for now it's going to be easier to do it this way created sector we'll store it and then we'll set rotation of the created sector to, here's a little more math, which is now a float operator again. 
Oh wait, no, I can probably use float multiply for this one. So we need, no, we will use the operator. So we need two set rotation inverted current array index multiply equals final rotation and his Z will be final rotation the other thing is its child well and its fill we got to do its fill too so the other thing is UI image set fill let's just go down here on created sector to set fill all right and uh, well right, let's just see how that looks so if I click on the train and it has for now we'll say three um, we'll deal with these icons in a second but let's just put something there we should Shift P image that one we don't need so their positions are all wonky okay so let's set position of the created to zero 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 world no self sorry and this wheel doesn't need this image let's get rid of him so if we click on them we get three pieces now granted my, my circle is a little iffy but whatever but you have a full circle and it's three separate pieces okay and each piece has an icon right now it's not the right icon but hey we're getting there so that's part one of that so the other thing is we need another array of current sections I can't see that sections and it's a game object so as we loop array add current sections add the created sector because when we go to shut down if current sections actually you know what let's just reuse this variable array length int compare if current sections or array length is greater than zero destroy stuff if it's equal to zero just continue so continue and if you're not equal we need to array get next current sections 
loop done um, loop and done what do we use over here current array item oh yeah it's a different right now let's reuse that variable so we're going to loop destroy object created sector finish done so you know what we should probably go this way So when we want to close it, we'll check to see if there's anything that we've actually created. If there's nothing created, let's just shut it down. If there is stuff created, let's destroy that stuff and then shut it down. That'll prevent us from, you click a million times now and you'll only get those same three wheels. Right, we won't have anything extra there. Okay, so the other thing now we need to do is is we need on here way back over here is this is a setting section is now that we have this we need to get this guy's child, right? Of the created sector. And we called him icon, I believe. If not, we will take icon the icon and set sprite of the icon to current array item move to the bottom because this array is happens to be sprites set rotation nope didn't actually go in yeah, they already went in, so let's get rid of one of them. Set him to the very bottom of the icon to zero, zero, zero world. Okay, now, so let's, for example, say we had, um, few things that we could make uh, we'll say I don't know, even that one some kind of more planty like things sure let's plant a root of some type and would have figured I'd wheat or corn and well here's a bunch of stuff and I don't know berries there we go all right so we have three let's save this before you know I click on the power button or something stupid and we should all right do I have something on every frame or something set sprite Icon. Why is that one being silly? Because I did the wrong one. Because I am silly, apparently. 
So the icon, current array item, go away, stupid, wrong action. So now it didn't collect them. So let's see. So we created the sector. We've got all the right angles and so forth. The fill, get child, and we don't have a child. Child name icon lowercase. That's probably my issue right there. Let's take a look. Icon uppercase. There you go. Spelling is important. So get child uppercase. And let's see. All right, now we have different items that are facing the right direction. Cool, cool. There's a bit of a thing happening here now. We can click over here and be like, oh, let's build something over here. Okay, so obviously that's not done yet, but it's definitely getting there. And, and if you want to see the, how that thing kind of works in, in this aspect, well, let's put in a few more items, I guess. Let's go like this. Let's go crazy. All right. Now you have these. You still got a nice circle. You have five icons. All right. You can probably almost adjust icon size based on that value as well, just to remap the value. You can probably almost shut off this thing if uh, this is active. So far, so good. Okay, what are we doing for time? 47 minutes, I should probably almost call that one good and then do part two, where I guess we finish off the wheel and then start making the models to actually plant on the ground. Then we have to do, if we click on them, Maybe we want to get a bit of data from the plant and maybe they need water or something. So we'll figure that out too. Anyways, we'll see you in the next video.